Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American Expat, and as promised, we're going to be doing this uh, photo video. Uh, well, you know what I mean. You guys sent in the photos, now we're going to show them and talk about them. Now, uh, keep in mind, I am not a professional or expert or anything like that, so any suggestions that I give or anyone else, take it with a grain of salt. It's probably going to be, well, at least it's intended to be helpful, if anything. Most of it is just going to be like, wow, you guys are great at taking photos. I wish I could do that. But uh, yeah, that's what today we're going to be talking about is your photos, and I'm going to include one of mine that I took uh, here recently for you guys to all comment on. I'm, I'm not going to be the only person here making judgments or anything on the, the images. So I hope you'll all join in. This is going to be a lot of fun. If uh, you're sending in photos after this video is already done, fear not. We can do this again. Just keep sending in your photos to theamericanexpat76 at gmail.com. And we'll get to them in a future video. And uh, yeah, it, stick around. It's going to be an interesting one. Thanks for sticking with us. As I mentioned, today's going to be a fun one. We're going over these photos. Uh, hopefully, you guys can hear me clearly. My son, he's playing Minecraft, and I thought I turned it down, but the, the sound seems to be bleeding through everywhere. I'm hoping that this dynamic microphone isn't picking it up, and it's only in my ears. Hopefully, it isn't too distracting for when I'm trying to do this video. But anyway, let's get to your photos, because there are some beautiful photos in here. We're going to be starting with what I believe is from Mutant Riff. And, uh, yeah, let, let me pull this up here. And Okay. This one, is I, I chose this. He has a bunch of them that he sent in, by the way. They're all amazing photos. Something tells me he knows how to do photography, like someone that, uh, that really knows photography. I know he had mentioned in there that he'd use, like, a, an extension tube to get, you know, better... Uh, what would you call the, the bokeh in the background really blurred out uh, as you can see the colors i picked this one because of the colors all of the photos that he sent in were absolutely amazing looking photos but uh, this one i just really like the colors on the leaves and uh, the seeds here just uh, a beautiful overall um i don't know what i would say about composition it seems to be well composed I, i'm using the rule of thirds or the the gold whatever you want to call it Beautiful, beautiful photo. I'm uh, I'm not sure if he's he may, he may be actually using film, which uh, makes this even more amazing. F film is kind of scary to use these days because you don't know what's going to be, what the end result will be. Now, um, you know, you can scan the negatives and play with it on the computer a little bit, but uh, you don't know exactly what's going to happen. You're going to get it like me. I still don't know what my photos are going to look like when I actually get them developed and get the, the film back. I might get them and they'll just be blank. Like, well, you did something wrong <laughs> when you put them into the camera or it turns out the camera's shot and I think it's working, you know. And no, I, I'm pretty sure that the shutter is opening and closing. And the uh, everything seems to work. It's quite a it's a very mechanical camera, so there's not a whole lot that can go wrong. I think that later ones where you could program them, they have problems with capacitors going out. This one has no such problem. It's It's all mechanical. But beautiful photo. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I, I wish that I can. I hope that I can do this. I, I found that interesting. I didn't. I had no idea. I have an extension tube that came with my camera, the uh, the other, not the camera that I'm recording with, but the actual film camera, the SLR, the Minolta thing. It has an extension tube. I didn't know what it was for. It has macro things to go on the uh, the end of the lens. I'm, I've been looking for new lenses because I'd like to get more, you know, not only, everybody has a 50 millimeter lens when you get those cameras. I'm pretty sure it came with it. I need to get a few other lenses. Fortunately, they're cheap on those old cameras. Um, but yeah, I uh, now I see. I guess you can use the extension tube to pull something like that off. That's pretty cool. I'll have to give it a try. Now, the next photo, this one comes from Sproudswell, or Shelley Broswell. And let me uh, pull this one up. And, ah, ah, excuse me there. This I like especially because of what it is. I, uh, I spent a lot of time out by the ocean when I was in California years and years ago. I, uh, I was in the Long Beach area, and I would ride by the coast every single day on my bike and watch... 
the ships coming in. We didn't really go down by the pier anywhere because that was usually where a bunch of people were hanging out and swimming and they probably wouldn't have been interested in someone coming and sharing a religious message with them at that point. But um, I did go down to the beach a few times out there. If we did especially well, <laughs> that's a strange situation. We'd go out there and have a cookout, uh, not on the part of the beach where there's tons of people, but um, yeah, going out to the pier, that that's pretty cool. I, uh, I, I wonder if you had to go out into the water to get that photo. It's pretty cool. Um, I, uh, I might have, I, I think that this is cropped. It's, uh, it's interesting, you know, getting the aspect ratios with digital cameras, you can do so much that you can't do with film. I mean, you could crop it by literally cutting the, the picture up a bit, but, um, yeah, it's interesting how that, that works. You can get that really narrow sort of, uh, I guess, well, if it was, um, tilted on its side it would be a wide angle now it's very narrow but it's pretty cool it also makes me think of uh, this place i went in france uh, mount saint mich and they had this part where you could go out it's like a castle that's on uh, a little island but some of the people would go out and wade through this mud to get off to the side and i was wondering if you had to go into the water to take this photo I, uh, <laughs> I'm always nervous with my camera going out into the water. I like getting sea spray all over the, the camera and like, huh, you know, is this going to mess it up? But, you know, you can get some really cool photos and just uh, really pretty. There was another one of the, uh, the sand that looked really cool. Nice little texture. Um, I chose this one because it just, I like, uh, the, the way it looks, it kind of draws you in. That's something else that people like to do with photography. You want to have something that kind of draws your attention to uh, the subject or to something in the photo. The way that the uh, the peers, I guess, go back, it kind of draws you into the that part of the photo. Really cool anyway. Um, obviously, I'm not giving much judgment here on the photos because I don't feel like I'm qualified to really go into it. Uh, I, you guys remember to leave your comments about what you're seeing here. Tell us all what you think, which one you like the most, or if you just like all of them and you want to be nice and not pick a favorite. Now let's get into this uh, this next one. This one from Terry Maddox. I okay, yeah, got that one up here. This one I really like. Um, we've got a stained glass mirror. Or no, stained glass mirror, stained glass window. I uh, again, you know, this makes me think of my time in Europe because everywhere I went, you know, they have these cathedrals and churches, and you can just go in and they have beautiful things like this that you can take photos of. I always had difficulty getting it uh, framed properly or centered. This one, I don't know how you did that. It's almost like you're up there at eye level. It doesn't look distorted or anything. You know, typically if you're taking the photo of one of these windows, they'll be up up above you, and you have to tilt the uh, the camera to be able to take the photo. This one looks like you're actually at eye level, which is pretty cool. I uh, I don't know, <laughs> maybe you climbed up. I was always afraid, like, you know, I'm not going to climb up into the, the thing to take the photo. It'd be really cool if I could, but that's, uh, that's a beautiful shot. And I can see all of the the images, you know, depicting the different story there, you know, the, I guess Christ's uh, crucifixion there. I can see everything clearly. A lot of times when I would try to take the photos, it would not be clear. Um, probably my own fault for not uh, exposing properly, but I'm really, really beautiful. It just makes me think of a lot of things. And now the last photo we will be showing is mine. This one I will feel perfectly safe being critical of. Because it's mine. <laughs> I'm the only person that could be offended, and I'm not afraid of offending myself. So let me pull this one up here. And... Okay. Yes. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, if you're not familiar, has one of the most beautiful skylines in the entire country, in my opinion. There's so many different angles that you can take photos of. They have these three bridges that are identical to each other. Uh, you can look at it from the north end. If you've ever been to one of their football games or to a Pirates game, they're all over there on that side, and uh, you can see it there. I just happened to be crossing the street, and I looked over and saw, like, hey, that's kind of neat how it uh, has the other, I guess, uh, 
part of the bridge there centered up. That's kind of a cool photo. So I set up my camera and I walked out into the middle of the street. Don't worry, there was like a little place there so cars wouldn't kill me. Hopefully they wouldn't kill me. They, they didn't kill me, so I guess it's okay. And I, you know, I looked down and took the photo and there it is. I think uh, <laughs> it looks a little crooked. Somebody has already told me that uh, the k &L gates on the top of the building there is distracting and I should crop it. I, I don't think that that would be a good idea to crop it that much. Well, maybe. It might look at, at kind of interesting. But I uh, I don't know that, it. to me, it, it really distracts that much in the photo. But I thought it was kind of neat. Uh, my wife actually used to work in that building once upon a time, years and years ago when we were living in the Pittsburgh area. Really cool place. Uh, if you ever get a chance, there's a, a nifty little park over there. I thought it would be so dangerous in Pittsburgh. And yeah, okay, Pittsburgh isn't the safest place in the world, but a very active place. I, I've uh, always found it to be an amazing city. But there's my photo for this time around. You guys will have to let me know. Is it crooked? Is that uh, distracting to have K&L gates on the top of the building? I didn't choose to put it up there. They just put it up there because they rent space in the building. Um Maybe I should, you know, go in and get rid of it, edit it out. I can get on there with the clone stamp and take it all out of there. Uh, that's the only, I mean, if I wanted to actually sell this photo, I'd probably have to do that. Uh, online, I mean, online. But yeah, you'll have to let me know what you think of the photos. If you've got photos you want to share, again, theamericanexpat76 at gmail.com. Send them our way. Let us know uh, who you are, that you want them to be shared. We'll put them up and we can all have a look, show and tell with our greatest show, photos, shots, all of that. And uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and leave it there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Thank you.